కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమం మనకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము బలము స్ట్రెంగ్త్ నీ ముందున్నటువంటి ప్రయాణము నీ శక్తికి మించినది లేచి ఆహారము పుచ్చుకొని బలము పొందుకునుము The journey before you is beyond your strength. Arise, eat the bread and get strengthened. Yehova ma balama yadhada maina dine margam పరిపూర్ణమైన దీని మార్గం యయగలవారి పై దయ చూపించును కఠినులయడల వికటము చూపును దయ గల వారి పై దయ చూపించును కఠినుల ఎడల వికటము చూపును గర్విష్ఠుల యొక్క గర్వముడచును సర్వము నిరిగిన సర్వాధికారి సర్వము నిరిగిన సర్వాధికారి యహోవా శత్రువులు నను చోటి నను నరకపు పాసములరి కటి నను శత్రువులు నను చోటి నను నరకపు పాసములరి కటి నను వరదవలే భక్తి హీనులు పోర్లిన వరదవలే భక్తి హీనులు పోర్లిన పిడువకమము ఎడబాయని దేవా పిడువకమము ఎడబాయని దేవా యహోవా మరణ పుటురులలో మరువక మురళిడ ఉన్నత దుర్గమై రక్షణ శృంగమై మరణ పుటురులలో మరువక మురళిడ ఉన్నత దుర్గమై రక్షణ శృంగమై తన ఆలయములో నామోర వినెను అదరెను ధరణి భయకంపముచే ఆదరెను ధరణి భయకంపముచేహోవాషము గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతముల పోనాదులు అణకును పౌరుషము గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతముల పోనాదులు అణకును తన నోటా నుండి వాచిన అగ్ని దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లను దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లను మేఘములాపై ఆయనవచ్చును మేఘములను తన మాటుగా జేయును మేఘములాపై ఆయనవా 
चुनो में घमोलन तन माटु गजे उन और मूल मेरु पुल मेंडु गजे से आप जे अमे चुनो आप वादी किने आप जे अमे चुनो आप वादी किने ये होवा नादी पमुनो वेले गिंचु वाडु नाची कटिने वेलुगु गजे युनु नादी पमुनो वेले गिंचु वाडु नाची कटिने वेलुगु गजे युनु जलरासुल नुंडि बलमैन चेति तो जलरासुल नुंडि बलमैन चेति तो वेलु पल चेर्चिन बलमैन देवुडु वेलु पल चेर्चिन बलमैन देवुडु यहोवा ना कालनु लेडी कालु गजे से ये तैना स्थल मोलो शक्ति तो निलपे ना कालनु लेडी कालु गजे से ये तैना स्थल मोलो शक्ति तो निलपे रक्षण केरे मोना कंदिंचे रक्षण केड़े मुना कंदिंचि आक्षय मुगतन पाक्ष मुझेर्चिन आक्षय मुगतन पाक्ष मुझेर्चिन यहोवा यहोवा जीव मुगल देवा बहुगास्तु तुलको अर्हुड नीवु ये होवा जीव मुगल देवा बहुगास्तु तुलको अर्हुड नीवु अन्य जनुल लो धन्यत चोपु चो हल्ले लूया स्तुति गानमो चेसेद हल्ले लूया स्तुति गानमो चेसेद ये होवा नेटी ध्यानाम समो बालामो स्ट्रेंथ नी मुंडों ने ट्वेंटी प्रयाण मो नी शक्ति की मिंचिन दी लेची आहार मु पुच्छ कोने बालमु पुंड कोने मो the journey ahead of you is beyond your strength Arise, eat the bread and get strengthened. Eliza is tired. Eliza is exhausted. Eliza is discouraged. Elijah is in fear. Who is Elijah? Elijah is the prophet of God. Elijah is the anointed, ordained servant of God to render justice to stand as the witness for truth when you stand for truth will you not face troubles will you not face 
trials will you not face rejection will you not go through poverty will you not go through hunger definitely when you stand for justice when you stand for truth when you take the side of god you must go through rejection in this world you must go through homelessness you must go through poverty you must go through hunger you must go through fear uncertainty discouragement are you willing to go through fear discouragement hunger homelessness for the sake of god for the sake of truth for the sake of justice then honor is awaiting you glory is awaiting you the chariots of fire are awaiting you to receive you into everlasting life to receive you into the kingdom of god to dwell at the bosom of abraham and you choose god when you decide to live for god you have to forego many things you have to lose many things that are regarded as treasured possessions in the sight of men yet you will possess the precious thing in the sight of god what is to be possessed the things that are precious in the sight of men or the thing that is precious and worthy in the sight of god obviously one need to possess the thing that is precious and worthy in the sight of god what is worthy in the sight of god in the sight of god truth is worthy righteousness is worthy what is truth what is righteousness in the sight of god none other than jesus christ if you possess jesus you are possessing the most precious treasure in the world and in the day of trouble without any trace of doubt without any hesitation you will receive help can you trust in your bank balance can you trust in your wealth can you trust your friends can you trust your relatives can you trust your wife can you trust your husband can you trust your children no in the last days perilous times will come we are in such perilous times one soon brother will hand over his own brother to trial to court to death are we not seeing how true it is do we still have the bond of love in relationship no relationship these days 
has also become materialistic like any other business what do we see in business we see profit and loss how much i have profited today in my business how much i lost in today's business rather in relationship we see love and sacrifice and such relationship we can only find with jesus christ because jesus christ alone has sacrificed his all desiring your relationship desiring to reconcile you to your creator god i have come to this world to rescue the lost sheep i have come to this world to seek the sinners i have come to this world to heal the sick i have come to this world to heal the broken hearted i have come to this world for the hunger i have come to this world for the fatherless the widows are you fatherless are you orphan are you widow definitely you are in need of comfort definitely you are in need of a person on whom you can depend on on whom you can rely on whom you can put your trust on on the contrary devil will come only to rob you to exploit you if there were to be something precious in you they will want to rob that precious thing from you they will clearly knows what is the most precious thing that is in your possession and it is nothing it is none other than your soul the lamp that the god has put they will want to take for itself your soul they will want to claim your soul this is the most precious thing that is in your possession and you should make a choice whether you are going to prove your allegiance to the creator god that has given you this soul this spirit this lamp of life or whether you want to surrender yourself by putting your trust in satan god has never ever put any restriction on any human being god has given man free will you can choose for yourself you can decide for yourself yet as a father have pity on his child god will have pity on us so caring for our good god gives us the four knowledge the future happenings if you choose this you will have these consequences if you choose the other way you will have these consequences decision is yours choice is yours i will not put my pressure on you i will not impose my commandments my laws upon you but i give my commandment but i will show you what is truth i will show you what is the way whether to choose the truth whether to choose the way whether to follow my commandments or not it is up to you in the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 we see a list of big list of blessings followed by big list of curses i put you before you both life and death choose for yourself i will not put any pressure on anyone you have every right to choose your destiny i place before you both blessings and curses if you choose this path if you choose the tree of life you will receive all these blessings you will be blessed when you come out of your house you will be blessed when you go into your house you will be blessed when you go into your workplace you will be blessed when you go into your fields you will be blessed no pestilence will ever enter into your tabernacle the songs of joy the songs of salvation will be heard from the tabernacle of the righteous 
there will be no pestilence there will be no sickness there will be no disorder in health there will be abundance and you will not lack there will not be any scarcity you will not borrow but you will lend to nations what a great blessing and the big list of blessings continues almost uh, to two thirds of that chapter if you do not choose the tree of life these will be the consequences if you choose the other way if you choose the fruit of the tree of knowledge and evil the forbidden fruit choosing to have friendship with the world choosing to have friendship with your enemy your adversary your satan the fallen angels the rebellious angels filled with pride filled with greed filled with hatred these will be the consequences that you have to face so choose for yourself decide for yourself whether you want the tree of life where there will be longevity where there will be joy where there will be peace where there will be good health where there will be abundance where there will be surplus where there will be no fear at all if you choose the tree of life if you reject the tree of life and choose the forbidden way that leads to the broad path that leads to hell that leads to destruction that leads to curses that leads to perishing these will be the consequences you will only be the tail you will be the last you will be the least you will sow in your field so much and at the end of the day you will only receive the least of the harvest the earth will not yield its fertility to you the earth will, will not yield its good to you deuteronomy chapter 28 god has given free will and told the consequences the future consequences is it not good to choose blessing over the curse is it not choose the thing that is worthy in the sight of god rather than the things that are worthy in the sight of men that are fleeting that are temporal that are not having life beyond this planet earth what is that in the whole of the universe if we ask the nasa administrator and the scientist in nasa aeronautical space research facilities we will know the vastness of universe we will know how simple earth is in comparison to the universe does this not give us knowledge that we are made by god we are created by god we are destined for having everlasting fellowship with god to inherit all the things created by god blessed by my father inherit the kingdom that is prepared for you ever since the foundations of the earth were laid should we forego such a blessing such an abundance such a happiness such a joy such a peace such a rest but the people of god rest is awaiting do we have such assurance in this world you may be a great businessman you may have flourishing 
businesses. We see so many rich farms, industries, Amazon and many other. Microsoft and many other. The list goes on and on and on and on. Do we have such a assurance? Dhyanam Samo Strength Balamo Those that fear God will go from strength to strength. That strength will be renewed like the strength of the eagle. Caleb's youth is renewed. Moshe's youth is renewed. Even in his 120th year, Moshe was as strong as he was in his 80s. His eyesight has never become weak. After 120 years of Struggle on earth. Moshe is in good health. Longevity, good health, good eyesight. Even in school going kids, we see deficiencies in sight. Without a spectacles, without cataracts, without a vision aids. Youngsters are not able to clearly see what is close to them, what is far to them. A kind of blindness in vision. Because of deficiency of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, lacking of strength. What is the source of strength to Moshe? What is the source of strength to Caleb? Moshe took the same food as that of any other Israelites that were following him. Moshe ate the same food as that of all the 600,000 Israelites that were rescued from oppression, slavery, hopelessness, mourning, much fear, much tiredness, weariness, work pressure, burden, anxiety, humiliation, sorrow. And the list goes and on, on and on and on and on. Not one year, not two years. The operation continued for 450 years. The children of Jacob were trained in the school of God. God himself has been their teacher. Through, through many trials, in the fiery furnace of trials, the children of God were molded, shaped. The children of Jacob were prepared to inherit the promised land. Should we deny the preparation of the 70 years or 80 years for uh, entering into the everlasting kingdom. Should we reject this discipline of 70 years on this planet earth that makes us eligible to enter into the kingdom of God, everlasting kingdom of God, the promised land, far better than the promised land inherited by the children of Jacob. To enter into the promised land, the children of Jacob have to wait for 450 years. Oh, 450 years, so long. 
who can ever wait oh hundred years without children who can wait i would rather make a calf and worship it is better for me to make a metal image and worship rather than waiting for hundred years and getting a children after hundred years getting a child after hundred years this is the knowledge of the world god has a wonderful plan god has a wonderful will abraham the children you are going to inherit are not of flesh they are of spirit they are through promise isaac is through promise if you want the best you have to wait who can wait in this digital age can be a wife wait for her, her husband wife cannot wait for her husband do not wait who is at loss if you are with your shepherd you will be safe if you want to go in any way that you like leaving the shepherd rejecting the discipline by the shepherd considering the care of the shepherd to be imprisonment to be harsh who is at loss if you go away from shepherd without the knowledge of the shepherd by rebelling the against the shepherd you will fall into danger your enemy that the adversary is roaring like a lion whom to devour whom to distract the wolves are waiting the foxes are waiting the lion is waiting to catch hold of you to rob you to eat your meat to eat your flesh the sheep will be safe when the sheep is with the shepherd good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep shepherd is going before the flock most of the sheep are following the shepherd and few have gone astray because they have seen some greenery in some other far off place seeking a better meadow seeking a better grassland without the knowledge of the shepherd some of the sheep have gone astray what is the consequence what was appearing to be a good choice a better choice turns out to be a death trap because the sheep has gone away from the shepherd the sheep has no knowledge even though the grassland may be better the greenery may be appealing yet it comes at a cost it comes at the cost of your flesh it comes at the cost of your meat it comes at the cost of your life choose for yourself i place before you both blessing and curse if you follow me you will have abundance of life you will dwell in protection you will dwell in safety satan will not come near you because i am with you my staff and my rod will comfort you though you walk through the valley of shadow of death you fear no evil because i am with you where is such assurance if you are a billionaire can you say with confidence without fear even though i go through the valley of shadow of death i fear no evil you cannot say why because you are not sure if the shepherd is with you aina akasha mahakasha mulu pattajalni goppa devudu indi kuda venema galavari yadda deena manasu galavari yadda nivasinchataku ishtapadichunadu even though the lord is so mighty even though the lord is so great that the greatest of the heavens cannot hold him yet god humbles himself to dwell with the lowly the humble the simple those that are 
humble in heart those that are obedient neti dhyanam samo strength balamo in school going children in little kids we see so many deficiencies vitamin deficiency mineral deficiency nutrition deficiency malnutrition in spite of so much of hunger being so much prevalent in spite of so many kids crying for food still we hear news that organizations with uh, great emblems receiving nobel prizes we have a food program not for a one nation not for two nations all over the globe we have branches we have board our board is food program for all yet we do not dare to violate the sanctions imposed by pseudo mighty nations we cannot go beyond the lines drawn by these pseudo mighty nations yet we receive nobel prizes when so many children are crying for bread we could not reach them because we could not cross the line drawn by pseudo mighty nations yet without any shame we receive honors granted out of favor by the pseudo mighty nations don't you know that the friendship with this world is enmity with god whose lines you are regarding whose lines you are disregarding i place before you the border if you cross this line these are the curses if you remain within this line these are the blessings deuteronomy chapter 28 if you remain within this line chariots of fire are awaiting glory is awaiting everlasting life is awaiting honors and crowns greater than the honors received by pseudo food programs with a board showing that they are serving all through the globe our organization is present everywhere our footprints are present everywhere satan's footprints are also present everywhere satan is also there in the upper room what good satan is doing i am present everywhere i am present in the church i am present in the clinic even i am present in the upper room during the last supper i was there what for who invited you what difference your presence is making your presence or absence makes no difference because you are not able to stand for justice you are not able to open your mouth against injustice cross the lines drawn by pseudo mighty nations ahab because you have done injustice to naboth in the same place where you have shed the innocent blood dogs will lick your blood ejibel you have bought false witnesses and shed innocent blood through lies to false through false witnesses through abuse of power you made
ना बहुत स्टोन टू डेथ बिकॉज ऑफ योर हार्ड हार्टेडनेस बिकॉज ऑफ योर क्रूएल्टी यू विल ऑल्सो मेट द सेम फेट विद विद द सेम मेजर यू हैव मेजर टू वन ऑफ द लीस्ट ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट्स गॉड विल ऑल्सो मेजर विद द सेम मेजर एजिबेल your flesh will be eaten up by dogs as spoken by the prophet the chariot filled with the blood of ahab is washed in the lake where prostitutes are bathing the moment the chariot with the blood of ahab is washed in the lake of the prostitutes where the prostitutes are bathing dogs come and licks the blood of ahab not only that because you have done injustice to one of the least of the subjects one of the least of your subjects you will not have any more lamp on the throne as spoken by the lord through the mouth of his prophet anointed one all the sons of ahab were executed subsequently ejibel was crushed to death by horses and there is no body parts of ejibel remaining no body at all no body no body because dogs have eaten the flesh of ejibel announce the day of fasting prepare false witnesses against naboth stone him to death these are the commands of ejibel the queen these are the lines drawn by the queen and the pseudo elders could not cross the lines drawn by the queen as per the law of the queen the elders in the city of naboth have erected false witnesses that testified against naboth that naboth is rebelling against the king naboth is blaspheming which naboth has never done based on these two allegations naboth though innocent no way related to the acquisitions the queen is accusing erect false witnesses announce a day of fasting on the day of fasting false witnesses should rise and testify against naboth that he blasphemed against god that he is rebelling against the king on these two false allegations and accusations the elders of the city of naboth should judge that naboth indeed has offended has blasphemed has rebelled against the king based on these charges he should be stoned to death these are the lines drawn by the queen who stood who stood for truth only the servant of god at the expense of his own life his own life is a threat for sure he will not have food for sure he will not have home for sure he has to run from pole to post to save his life 
at any cost thus says the lord jeremia if you fear these people and do not speak the words that i put in your mouth i will cause your heart to shiver and fear more for these people i have ordained you as my prophet even before you are conceived in your mother's womb i will make you a fortified city i will make you a wall of iron i will make you a pillar of bronze that people that these people cannot make fall that these people cannot stand before ee janulu padagotta jalani ittadi prakaram gaanu inapa stambham gaanu nenu ninnu chesadano irmiya nee talli garbhamandu nee aarparachabadaka munupu nenu ninnu janamulaku pravakta ga neeminchunanu i have ordained you as the prophet if you do not speak the words that i put in your mouth i will cause your heart to shiver before these people rather if you dare to speak the word that i put in your mouth i will make you a fortified city i will make you a bronze pillar i will make you an iron wall that these people can do nothing to you choose for yourself whether you want to fear god or fear the people that are unjust aha listening to your wife the queen you have done injustice to the least of the subjects god has seen the innocent blood that you have shed in the same place where dogs licked the blood of naboth your blood also will be licked by dogs god is not unjust god is not impartial i have get rid of naboth so what can you get rid of god i have get rid of uria so what can you get rid of god these are the days of eliza these are the days of moshe these are the days of noah these are the days of lot you have seen the meadows they are attractive they are pleasing you presumed that they are safe finally it ended up as a death trap because you have left the good shepherd and wanted to be on your own what is the consequence the wolves the lions the bears have torn you into pieces i am the good shepherd good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep i am compassionate jesus christ is compassionate oka divyamaina sangati to na hrudayamu bahuga uppunguchunadi nenu rajunu gurchi rachinchina danini palikedanu ఆయన పెదవుల మీద దయారసం పోయబడి ఉన్నది సామ్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ ఐ విల్ స్పీక్ ఆఫ్ ద కింగ్ ఆన్ హిస్ లిప్స్ గ్రేస్ ఈస్ పోర్డ్ అపాన్ గ్రేషియస్ వర్డ్స్ ప్రొసీడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మౌత్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ ద కింగ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ మై హార్ట్ ఈస్ రిజాయి రిజాయిసింగ్ విత్ ఎ గ్రేట్ థింగ్ విత్ ఎ మార్వలస్ థింగ్ యువర్ హార్ట్ విల్ రిజాయిస్ your heart will be filled with joy when you receive jesus christ into your heart even in the day of calamity even in the day of fear even in the day of battle god will guard your head eliza is running for his life as the queen is chasing him eliza by tomorrow this time your head will not be on your neck If you were to be alive tomorrow by this time I am not Ezebel call me by some other name Oh Lord my times 
are in your hands if there is at least one single person dare to stand before me i will leave israel otherwise all the israel should surrender goliath is boasting of his might in his pride goliath has fallen in her pride the queen has fallen in his greed ahab has fallen should these stories not give us wisdom to choose the most precious thing to choose the everlasting honor to choose the everlasting riches they will will obviously say there is nothing like eternity there is nothing like life after death there is nothing like god devil is deceptive devil is liar there is nothing like devil this is another great lie if there is no devil why at all christ has to come into human history leaving heaven taking the form of flesh and blood and endure so much humiliation endure so much suffering all through the 33 and a half years to be homeless to be rejected to be humiliated to be nailed to the cross why at all christ has to endure such suffering just to reconcile man to god just to clothe men with his righteousness it's not by our deeds just by accepting jesus christ as the son of god we are being clothed by the righteousness of jesus christ should you reject this grace because it is freely given should you reject this salvation because it is so simple the commandments of god are not burdensome only one commandment what did you do with my son jesus christ have you received jesus christ have you loved jesus that has offered himself for your sake that has sacrificed his life for your sake if your heart is not soft and if your heart is not melted there is no love in your heart so there is no place for you in heaven this is the only measure god will use to decide your destiny my destiny is already decided because i have decided Jesus Christ to be my personal savior so i can say the lord is with me even though i go through the valley of shadow of death i will dwell in the house of the lord forever it's not by the righteousness of the preacher self righteousness will not work if moshe were to boast of his self righteousness moshe can boast many things i am the levite i am rescued from many waters i am taken from water so i am called moshe i am brought up in the king's palace as the son of the princess i could be the future king over egypt Moshe can boast in many things rather Moshe has chosen the reproach for the sake of Christ rather than the wealth of Pharaoh the wealth of Pharaoh is fleeting the wealth of Egypt is temporal in those uh, good old days Egypt was called the gift of Nile all people around the globe went to Egypt for grain including jacob with 75 of his family members went to egypt in those days there was grain in egypt why there was joseph there is law there is the law of god that is written in the heart of joseph 
when you have Jesus, when you have the covenant ark with you, wherever you are, you will be a blessing. Wherever you are, there will be surplus, there will be abundance. There will be healing, there will be joy. Joseph suffered much injustice, yet Joseph has chosen the blessing over curse. How will I do this sin against heaven? How will I do this sin against my master? How Joseph has got the knowledge of sin? Because the law was written in the heart of Joseph. Simply because Naboth's grape yard, grape wine is appealing. Simply because he has power to extract. Ahab wanted the grape wine. O oh, king, I can't. I am a king, how dare you to say that I can't. I will not listen the answer, I can't. O oh, king, this is the inheritance that I received from my forefathers. Sorry, I am not in a position to give you this grape wine. This is no ordinary grape wine. This is the inheritance from my forefathers. I can't. Will you say to the king, I can't? Don't I have the power to stone you to death and take? What is the consequence? You have the power, but you have abused the power. So the pay, pay the penalty. You will not have any lamb on the throne. All your seed will be executed. O oh, queen, there will be no body. Dogs will eat away your body parts. As the Lord has spoken through the mouth of Eliza, even though the soldiers searched to have the burial of the body of Ejibel because she is the princess, let her body be buried. Even though the soldiers have searched for the body, there were no body parts remaining. By the time they have gone to search the body, there is no body. All the body was eaten up by the dogs. With whatever measure you measure, it will be measured to you. It may take few years, but the judgment of the Lord will prevail. Announce a fasting day. Why at all there should be a fasting day announced? You want to do just injustice. Why at all you take the name of the Lord in vain? Stone to death. Announce a fasting day. Find out false witnesses that will testify against Naboth that he has blasphemed. Who has blasphemed? If Naboth were to say, I can't, is it a blasphemy? You are king, you are given power, you are given authority to do justice. To rule his people with justice. If you fail in your job, God has every authority to take away from you the power that he has entrusted you. You will not have any lamp on the throne. All your sons will be executed as you have executed Naboth. 